Grade 4 math, number 61, fractions. Add parts of a whole. That means we're going to add parts of things that will make a whole thing. Okay? So, remember, the top of the fraction is the numerator and the bottom one is the denominator. Okay? And remember, when you compare fractions, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces become. Okay? Cutting a pie into eight pieces gives you smaller pieces than if you cut it into four pieces. And even though eight is a bigger number, it gives you a smaller piece and more of them because now there's eight pieces, right? Compared to just four pieces. Okay, so keep that in mind. And let's take a look at what Emma is up to, okay? She has leftovers from two pies that weren't eaten. Maybe she had a party. And these are the pies that are left over, okay? She wants to put them away in the refrigerator. And she wants to combine the pans because she doesn't want to have to wrap two pans. They're both cherry pies, okay? So, if she puts this piece into this pan, then she can put that pan away and just wrap this one up, right? So, the pies were cut into six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's three pieces in this pan and only one in this pan. So, she's going to add three sixths plus one sixth. See? One six, one six, and one six, and then the one six from the second pan. You add up the ones, and she gets four six. See? If this one was in here, it would be one, two, three, four, six. See that? When you add half of the pie, see half the pie, to a one six, we get four six. Now, how the heck did we do that? See? Because we were doing 3 6 plus 1 6 equals 4 6. Here's the one hole, and here's a bar cut into 6. Here's 3, and one more. See? That's the first pan, that's the second pan. It gives us 4 6. See? So how can this be 1 half plus 1 6 gives us 4 6? Well, when you look at the pie, there's a half of pie in here, isn't there? 3 6 is equal to 1 half. So here's what we do. We take the half and we say, what does this 2 need to become a 6? It needs to be multiplied by 3. The 1 gets jealous. It wants to be multiplied by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. So then we add 3 6 plus the 1 6 and we get 4 6. Okay? Just remember, we cannot add fractions that don't start with the same whole thing. You can't start with a pie and add it to a cake. It, it wouldn't fit, okay? you got to have pi to a pi, circle to a circle. You have to add a triangle to a triangle or a square to a square. When you're adding the fractions, they have to be the same, okay? All right, so let's take a look at this. We've got circle cut into four, and two are orange, and this circle cut into four, and one is orange. So... This is two-fourths, this is one-fourth. When we add two-fourths to one-fourth, we get three-fourths. See that? Basically, what we're doing is sliding the denominator across and just adding the tops. See? Two plus one is three. Let's look at this one. These boxes are split into thirds. They each have three. One-third is blue, one-third is blue. When you add one-third plus one-third, you get two one-thirds. See? Two-thirds. You slide the denominator across, and you add the numerator. See? 1 plus 1 is 2. Let's try it with this one. we got circles, and 1, 2, 3, 4 are colored in, and 2 are not, so we have sixths. 4 sixths are colored in, and 1 sixth is colored in, and if we combined them, we'd have 5 sixths colored in. See? We slide the denominator across, and we add the numerator. See that? Let's try it a couple more times, all right? Here's a bar of 12. It's split into twelfths. Three of the 12 are colored red, and five of the 12 are colored blue. When you add three twelfths to five twelfths, you get eight twelfths. Slide the denominator over, and add the numerator. See? There's eight. All right. Look at these kites. One-fourth of this kite is green, and one-fourth of this kite is green. And if you put them together, half of a kite would be green. See that? One-fourth 
plus one-fourth equals one-half. See that? It's really two-fourths, isn't it? But it's also a half because the two-fourths was simplified. They were both divided by two because the top and the bottom get jealousy of each other. You have to do the same number. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 fourths is the same thing as 1 half. And we can see that 2 fourths is the same thing as 1 half, can't we? So, you can add fractions by sliding the denominator over and adding the numerators. You can see how they add together. Make sure they're the same thing that you're adding, okay? And we're going to talk about subtracting fractions that have the same denominator in the next video. Stick with me. We're going slowly through our fractions, and we're figuring them out. I'll see you there. Bye.